Whether you're a blog hobbyist, web developer, business owner, or just someone looking to try new things, this video is just the thing you need. Today, we'll learn how to create a WordPress website for free. We'll cover everything from domain and hosting to building the essential pages. Feel free to jump to any of the topics that interest you. If this video ends up being useful to you, please consider subscribing to our channel for more WordPress and WooCommerce related topics. Domain and hosting are the foundations of a website. No website can exist without them. The domain is the identity of your website. People can type it into a browser and instantly reach your website. And the hosting is where all your website's information and files are stored. It's like a computer that sends your website's information to people looking for it at any time from anywhere in the world. Usually, you can purchase the domain name separately and pay a different service to host it on its servers. But the cost-effective way is to buy them both together. However, since we're trying to create a website for free, we can get a subdomain from a free hosting provider. We have plenty of options like Infinity Free, Free Hostia, Triple Zero Webhost, Google Sites, WordPress.com, Pro Free Host, and Free Hosting. We're going with Triple Zero Webhost as it's one of the best free hosting platforms out there. In your search bar, type 000webhost.com. Scroll down to see the plans and click on free sign up. Enter your email and set a new password for your triple zero webhost account. An account confirmation prompt has been sent to our email. Let's head there and click on this button to verify our email. After our email is verified, a setup wizard is triggered. Select the reason for which you want to make a website. We want to start a blog, so we'll click here. Then, select your blog's main topic. We're making a travel blog, so we'll click on tourism. Triple Zero Webhost recommends Chrome for using its services. We already have it, so we'll click on skip. On the next page, enter your website's name and password. Hope you've thought of a name already. We want to create a WordPress website, so we'll choose this option. In the pop-up, set an admin username and password for your WordPress website. Make sure you remember these details as you'll need them when you want to log into your website's backend. After a minute of loading, our WordPress website is ready. This means our website is now live on the internet. Let's click on the Go to Configuration page button to head there. Enter the admin username and password to get access to your website. As we can see, our brand new website has been created on the domain we selected. But it doesn't look like much. So let's start building and designing it. In the top left corner, hover your mouse pointer over this button. Then, click on Dashboard. We'll arrive at our website's backend. This is where we control the building blocks of our website like posts, pages, themes, plugins, and settings. As we can see, our dashboard is a bit messy right now. Let's start cleaning it up. Go to the Plugins tab here and click on it. We can see that some plugins have been pre-installed by Triple Zero Webhost. To maintain a fast website, it's important to use only those plugins that are necessary. We don't need any of these, so select them all by clicking here. Then, select Deactivate from the drop-down and click on Apply. Finally, select them all again, choose Delete and click on Apply. We can then refresh the page and close these pop-ups. Now to start building a page, you can hover over the Pages tab and click on Add New. This is the WordPress default block builder. We can start by adding our title. 
then follow it up with some text. For a fresh paragraph, press enter and keep typing. To add an image, we can hit enter and click on this plus icon. Choose the image block. Then, click on upload image and select it from your folder. Similarly, you can add other types of blocks like paragraphs, headings, galleries, lists, and quotes. But building every single page and post on our website this way requires a lot of time, effort, and some design knowledge as well. So it's a much better option to import pre-built templates and edit them according to our needs. To do it, let's go back to our WordPress backend. Now, hover over the Appearance tab and click on Themes. Click on the Add New button to add a new theme. In the search bar in the top right corner, search for Astra. Hover over the first one and click Install. Then activate it. Feel free to delete any extra themes by expanding them and clicking on Delete. To choose a template, click Get Started. We'll choose the Elementor Page Builder as it's the easiest one to use. We can now see more than a hundred pre-built website designs we can use for our website. Let's use this filter and select free to narrow down our search. This one looks perfect, so I'll expand it and click on Import Complete Site at the bottom right. Then click Import again. Let's wait for the process to complete. The import is complete. We can view it using this button. We even have essential pages with sample content in them. Now we need to replace the sample content with our own. To customize the pages, you can go to any page and click on the Edit with Elementor button at the top. Let's go back to the home page and edit it. Elementor lets you build complex web pages with highly customizable drag and drop widgets. Let's edit this part. Select it and type your own content. In the style section here, we can change the text size, line height, and other settings. To customize this button, just click on it. We can edit its text using this field. To replace an image, just click on it. Then click on the Choose Image option here. We'll upload an image from our computer. Then click Insert Media. To publish these changes to the live website, click on the Update button down here. Then refresh the website to reflect the new changes. Now, you'll notice that you can't edit the header and footer section of your website in Elementor. For that, we need to tweak the theme settings. Just click on the Customize button up here. To change the website logo, click on the Edit icon next to it. Then, click on the Change Image button and upload your logo. Now, go back to the Customization panel using the Back button. Click on Menus and Open Menu. With these settings, you can rename, replace, and rearrange the header part of your website. The customization panel also lets you customize your website's footer, sidebar, and widgets. When you're done, click Publish. Now, when we refresh our website, we see the changes are reflected on the live site. That's how we edit the existing pages of our website. But what if we wanted to add a completely new one? To do it, we need to go back to our website's backend. Here, hover over the Pages tab and click on Add New. Let's give our new page a title. Then, click on Edit with Elementor to build it using the Elementor blocks. Now, there are three ways to create a new page. 
The first is to drag and drop the blocks that you need from this section. Let's add a heading by dragging this block. Then we can type its content directly on the page. To add an image, we'll use this block. Click on Choose Image to replace it with our own image. This way, you can build a page block by block from scratch. The second method is to use design templates for pages. Click on this icon. We see a library of page templates for various uses. Use the search bar to narrow down your results. Then, choose one and click on Insert button up here. You'll get a prompt to connect your website to the Elementor template library. Click on Get Started. Then click on Create Account and supply an email and a password. Click on Create Account. When we click on Connect, our selected template is imported to our page. The third and final method lets us use pages from other design templates. Click on this icon. Then click on a design template. Now, we can see the page templates. Click on the one you like and select Import Template at the top. The template is applied to our page. Click on Publish to push the changes to the live website. Then click on Have a look to observe the changes. Our new page has now been created on the live website. On the home page, you'll notice that our website is a subdomain. A subdomain is good enough if you're just starting out or if you're just trying something new. However, your audience may not be able to locate you just by knowing your name. If you want a dedicated domain of your own, you'll have to buy a .com domain. A dedicated domain will also give you more control over your website. You can refer to our article in the description to find the cheapest and best hosting services that include a domain. You're free to compare all these options and pick the one that suits you best. But no matter which one you pick, the following steps will be the same. The service will offer you multiple paid plans like these. Depending on the price, web space, and other features, choose the best plan for you. On the next page, type the domain you want for your website. Hope you've thought of a name already. On the final page, you'll have to create a new account with the hosting provider with an existing email and new password. You'll also have to fill some personal information like name, country, address, and phone number. Select the period of time you want to buy hosting for and pick or unpick from extra services like domain privacy and SEO features. And of course your card information will be needed to make the payment. After making the payment, you'll get logged in to the hosting provider's dashboard. You can then easily move your website to the new domain. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic or if you have any ideas or suggestions.